Hey folks, Dr. Gersmar from Aspire Natural Health. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever you happen to be watching or listening to this, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today, I wanted to talk about a topic that affects many of us, myself included. Listen, you're a smart person, I'm a smart person. What do smart people do? They tend to complicate things. They complicate things too much and they cause themselves problems. Now, the idea here is to make things as simple as it's possible to make them. Why? Why do we want to keep things simple? Well, because simple means it's easy. And easy means it's doable. We often swirl ourselves up into big, complicated schemes and plans. We have all these great ideas. We continue researching, tweaking, adjusting things, looking to make them better. And what often happens is they collapse under their own weight. Now, let me give you an example. As I've said before in other videos, I use smoothies. Not all the time, but often I use smoothies as one way to get some extra nutrition in or as a way to sneak things in and just make things easier. Now, again, smoothies, we can you know, you, you make them, you choose some ingredients, right? Often you get some veggies, a little bit of flavorings into the mix. They can be an easy way to get more stuff in. You can also sneak in oils, for example. Fish oil can often be snuck in, other herbs or other uh, vitamins, minerals, other things that you're trying to get in. It can be an easy way to get a bunch of stuff into your system all at once. Great idea, right? The problem you can make them too complicated. And I've done this many, many times. Uh, you know, you often start by mixing three to five things in, a couple veggies and a couple other things, and there you go, boom. It can be something that you can make quickly and easily. In a couple minutes, you're able to get them out, throw them into a high power blender and bammo, you've got it, right? Not that hard to do, fairly straightforward. But then what do I inevitably do? You start thinking, well, gosh, this is good. But uh, maybe I should throw something else in there. Maybe you've read an article or l listened to a podcast or heard another expert talking about how XYZ thing is so beneficial for you. So you think, ah, that's not that bad. Maybe I'll throw that into the mix. And then you start thinking, well, gosh, maybe I'll add this or I'll add that. And I've gotten to places where the next thing you know, you know you've got like 25 ingredients going into this smoothie. So now it takes you some time to gather everything up and get it all set set up and prep everything. And then, you know, you've got to mix it all. And the next thing you know, something that was taking you, you know, five minutes at most to make now can take you 10, 15, 30 minutes to make. And what ends up happening? You go, gosh, you know, I don't have time to make that thing happen. And then the next thing you know, you're not doing it very often and you stop doing it entirely. And so again, this is what we talk about where you can complexify, you can make it complicated to the point that it gets so large, so hard to do, so overwhelming or so expensive. You know, if you're throwing in this powder and this tincture and this thing and that thing, and you have to go to the store to get this special ingredient, it can get so unwieldy, so expensive, so complicated that it ends up just collapsing. And instead of getting the benefit you know, whether it's 60% or 80% of the benefit from this small manageable thing that you were doing, you were aiming for 99% benefit, but now it all falls over and now you're getting zero benefit. We see this all the time, again, whether it's a workout or exercise regimens, a good solid basic, no frills exercise regimen is going to get you 50, 60, 80% of the benefit of a long, complicated exercise regimen that most of us are not going to continue doing on a long-term basis. The same thing goes for diet, you know, getting in all these special foods, constantly rotating the diet and varying it and, and sticking to a very complex regimen is not going to work for the vast majority of people in the long term. And again, we can apply this to everything. What does this mean? In general, a simple regimen is better. Does that mean we always have to keep it super simple? No. The reality is sometimes when we're dealing with dysfunctions, we're helping balance things out and improve a person's health, there are times where a complicated or large regimen is necessary because keeping it super simple and pared back may just not have the power to make the changes that a person needs. So 
while we want to keep this overarching strategy of simple is better in place, we have to recognize that, it, like anything, it's not always appropriate. Having said that, when we're dealing with something, we want the simplest, effective strategy that's available. You know, there is a quote out there. Supposedly, Einstein said it. We have no idea, or I have no idea if he actually did or not, but the quote is a sound one. We want the simplest solution possible, but not simpler than that. You know, we want the simplest, effective solution, and if we subtract more and we make it even simpler, it becomes not effective. So the question we want to be asking ourselves, so so two things here, people. The first is when we're doing something, we at least periodically want to ask ourselves, can this be simplified, especially if we're finding that it's too much, you know, too many pills or too big of a thing, too complicated, too costly, too much. And we're finding that we're starting to fall down on doing the thing. Because again, 60% benefit is better, 60-80% benefit is better than zero or 10% or benefit, right? A too complicated regimen that you rarely do is going to be less effective than a simpler regimen that you do consistently. So, I, so especially if we find that whether it's food, whether it's exercise, whether it's a supplement regimen, whether it's uh, some something else that we're doing, we're trying to get effectiveness from, if we're finding that it feels overwhelming, too many steps, too many pieces, too much, and we're, our regimen, our, our ability to implement it is starting to slip, then we need to ask ourselves where can I simplify this? It may not give me all the benefit that I'd like, but again, something done consistently will get us more benefit than something that's done rarely. Now, we also do have to recognize that there may come a time and a place where the thing that we're doing is not powerful enough to get the results that we're looking for. We may need a sprint or a burst of activity uh, to in order to move things along and get us where we're going, which is why having someone to help and guide us is so preferable over trying to do this all ourselves. Okay, so when we're trying to, to reach a goal or make a big change, we can ask ourselves, you know, can this be made simpler? The answer is yes, we really need to consider making those changes to simplify things as long as we're continuing to move in the direction that we want to. Now, the second piece is these long-term choices, right? When we're in maintenance, when we've achieved our goals and we're looking to stay there, because again, we've talked about achieving our goals and then just stopping is a surefire way to lose our goals. Where in our life, whether it's in relationships, finances, health, or meaning, are we finding that we can achieve something and then completely stop and, and maintain all of the progress uh, that we've we've made? In relationships, we know that's not true. If we stop talking to people, if we stop doing doing the things in relationships and finances, if we just sit around and expect that, that money to be there forever. The same is true, of course, in health, right? The classic example we all know, we go to the gym, we're feeling better, we're getting in the shape that we want to be in. Uh, if we just stop going to the gym, are we going to keep that? No, of course not, right? The same is true in health with these issues as well. So we always need a maintenance phase where we maintain the results that we've gotten. So there especially, we're looking for simplicity, right? What is the simplest routine or regimen, whether it's in food, whether it's in exercise, whether it's in other areas, what is the simplest regimen that I know that I can maintain long-term that's gonna help me keep the results that I have and want to continue having. Again, simplicity. Smart people, you, me, all of us, we overcomplicate things. I know that periodically, personally, I have to revisit my routines. Like that smoothie I was talking about. If I find that it's gone from five ingredients to 15, I need to really question whether that's sustainable. And maybe I can pare it back down to six or seven pieces that are going to give me the most bang for my buck. All right, folks, that is it for me today. Listen, complexity is the enemy here of making something sustainable. So make it as simple as it can be, as long as it's giving you 
results. All right, so speaking of simplicity, speaking of understanding, speaking of sustainable things, have you gotten my best-selling book, The Clear Path to Health? You can see it just behind me uh, uh, right there on the shelf, The Clear Path to Health. It's a bestseller, and I'm immensely proud of it. What I did was took over a decade of experience, learning, working with people, helping people who are dealing with digestive issues and autoimmunity, and answering the question, what are the principles behind health and the principles behind disease? You know, there is more information out there than ever before. Going to the internet is like drinking from a fire hose. Many of us just end up more confused than we started with before. And we're honestly not sure, like, what do I need to do to be healthy? And, and what are the principles behind the things that make me sick? Well, I've taken all that experience and learning and I've distilled it down into a simple and easy book for you to read. All you need to do to get it is go to aspirenaturalhealth.com slash book. Aspirenaturalhealth.com slash book. Aspire is an A-S-P-I-R-E, aspire, naturalhealth.com slash book. Please go get it, give it a read, and implement the principles into your life so that you can stay healthy for the long term. All right, folks, that is it for me today. Until next time, take care.